Hey, what's going on everybody? James here coming at you from the basement gym. Um, just want to do something a little bit different this time. I want to really start recording my training logs. Uh, most of it is for my purpose, but also the purpose of others trying to see different styles of training. I don't believe that there is a wrong way to train. Um, I've tried a lot of different styles from psycho, DUP, conjugate, linear progression, uh, RPE, a lot of different ways. And I just find what works for me. Uh, what I'm doing right now is a, some of a DUP slash uh, linear progression training. And it's kind of wanted to break down what it is I'm doing. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is uh, time is limited. And I want to increase the frequency of my lifts, hoping that they will bring me up. Um, this is coming off of the uh, placing at the uh, USAPL Ohio State Championships just a week ago. I got 10th in the open and I got third in the push pool for the 105 kg. So very happy overall about everything. And it was also the first time I coached myself 100%. So I really gambled on me. Um, so I've kind of wanted to share my training, what my style is, and just why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, right now we're doing a four day split where we will try to get in a week. Uh, squatting twice, benching three times, and deadlifting twice. Uh, here is day one where I'm just squatting and benching, going through um, just a regular power slash strength set of uh, four sets of, uh, I think it was four sets of four, no sorry, five sets of three for the squats and then four sets of four for the bench. Um, it's actually felt pretty good, very confident in my lifts. I did go three for three on all my um, squats and hit a PR of 25, I think it was 25 to 28 pounds at the meet, which that could have been more. So definitely my goal was to get to 500 uh, by the time I get to states next next year or at least by April. So definitely going to be pushing the button on that. Um, bench press is my strength, but I do have some weaknesses in there. Going to work on uh, increasing that more by bench frequency more. So you can see here we're doing some four by fours um, on the um, bench. Just touch and go, no no pause on this today. Um, we also follow that up with some close grip bench press as well. Uh, two sets here of two by eight at two o five. So not too bad. Um, went pretty fast. I'm not going to show you guys every single set for some of these, um, especially the accessory movements. But these are the kind of things I'm doing, trying to add in more variations. Uh, we start off here with deadlift. Deadlift, I'm trying something new, a little bit more conventional. Um, since USAPL does not deadlift with a sumo bar, I find I'm not getting my full benefit of my uh, distance of spreading my legs. And it's having me a hard time pulling. So uh, taking this time off to really see if I like um, conventional, if I could do better. I know the form is not perfect. Um, I also know that it's gonna take me some work to get it there. Uh, might also even hire me a coach just to work on the form so I can get more confident in myself. I'm much more confident in my sumo stance than I am in my conventional. But overall, these all flew up very fast. Uh, here I switched to sumo by accident, got kind of forgot what I was doing. You can see my little man here. My son is always with me while I train for the most part. Today he got a little cocky, tried to help dad that I was struggling. And I had to get him to go sit down. You know, he means well. But after I get him straightened out, I was able to go ahead and uh, complete the sets and get everything done. You switch back to conventional. It sounds pretty good. It got a little bit out of out of way. I got real fast, a little cocky on the speed. Um, but overall, not a bad feel. I liked it. wasn't wasn't too bad. Very confident. Just again, just uh, just trying to get the form back. Um, feels weird in the belt too for me having the belt in that placement. Uh, day three, we went over to Beyond Limits Training, where I train clients at, and also where I usually work at. Um, there's some pause bits, uh, could have been a bit better on the pause, um, 
yeah, I need to work on that myself, and I'm talking to myself about it. As a sense got a bit more and more, I was getting a little bit better. Um, not as much touch and go, but I do admit I could have been pausing a lot more. Um, so overall, man, I'm just really good. Um, I'm going to try to start recording, like I said, more training videos of, my, of what I'm doing, a little bit of variety. I also try to put out more videos um, weekly. Um, just to show consistency in what I'm doing and also leading up to what I'm doing each year. I got some pretty big goals when I get to Nationals. I know I got a while for that. Had to get a 440 Wilkes in USAPL. Uh, I'm no longer competing in NASA as I want to kind of push the limits more and get into uh, and just see what the organizations have for me that I can do more of. Right here with squatting and these squats felt really good. I was very happy about um, how these felt. Even though they're a little bit lighter than, uh, sorry, a little bit, only 10 pounds heavier than the other day, these felt great. Um, the bar moved well, and we're doing them by four. My one thing is I know in order to increase my squat, I need to start squatting a little bit more often, adding a little bit more volume in there. Something that I have not done a lot of, but I'm going to take full advantage of uh, right now. This last set of squats was... Wow, it felt really great. Probably my best set as far as I was I could see. Um, it felt good. The bar moved fast and, and just took the bar speed out. It was good. I know I didn't hit parallel every single rep and that wasn't really my focus. It was just really just to get some volume in there, get these legs moving. Um, I use box squats a lot when I want to get rep. Uh, here we did some 36 inch box jumps. Did these for explosion lifts. I used to do them a lot more, but since I train at home, I don't have the time or the ceiling to get uh, the ceiling space to get that. So definitely uh, take advantage of that when I'm training at Beyond Limits. I want to make sure I train at the gym at least you know a couple of times a week, if not at least once, um, if, if if I can. Uh, here at day four, back to doing some bench work. Um, this was just a high trip set. We just used a slingshot, 4x8, nothing special. I was supposed to deadlift on this day, but just didn't have all the energy, but wanted to get something done. Um, so, thanks again for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. Comments, questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, hit up the website, www.hoganstrengthsystems.com. Got some good stuff coming for you guys. Once again, God bless.